If I have a line that I've already created from another set of data, then I can figure out the relating amount for either of the two givens by using my line and going over from there. So I have to look at an example of that really quickly. If we have some car speeding up and this is its acceleration graph or really speed versus time, then if I push on the accelerator after three seconds, I can figure out exactly how fast the car is going. So somebody's obviously taken time intervals between each of these and then plotted them. But then if I want to know in between time, so if I want to know at about 5.6 seconds how fast I'll be going, I just go up to wherever the line is and then I can go over. So here, maybe I'd be going about 38 meters per second. If I want to know how long it'll be before I'm going 25 meters per second, I could also come over here, find the line, and then that's when I'd head back down. And it looks like it's going to be about 4.25 or maybe 4.4 meters per second, seconds later. So again, the important thing with all of these problems is just being able to read what's going on. And then the questions will be related to something else in terms of are you looking for the average? Are you looking for um, the fraction of something or the percent of something? So the problems relate to different concepts, but you need to be able to get the data from the charts, plots, graphs given, and this video has given you the background in that. So if you have um, any other issues, you can always look at specific topics within these. So looking at algebra videos or looking at pre-algebra videos. But the information that you actually need on the SAT is pretty basic. So that's all we're going to cover today. And thank you again for watching educator.com.